In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use Canva. Canva is a really useful tool if you need to design anything. And that can be anything from a presentation, to a video intro, to an infographic, posters, and more. So to begin using Canva, you'll need to sign up. To do that, click on the Sign Up button on Canva.com. From there, you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or an email. In this example, we'll sign up with Google. From there, you'll enter in your email or phone number tied to your Google account. Now that you're logged in, Canva will ask you how you'll be using the platform. Simply click the student or teacher icons. From there, you can give them some additional details and click continue. From here, you can click skip. And now we're ready to start on our first design. Depending on what you're looking to design, you can select it from this menu here, or you can search for it. In this example, we'll be creating an infographic. So we're gonna type in infographic. It's also available under the popular section down there. After you search for it, you'll get a suggested list that you can select from. We're gonna select the first option, which is a generic infographic. Now that we've got our infographic template, we're ready to start creating. Canva will walk you through a quick tutorial with some helpful tools and tips to get started. Now you can explore some of the existing templates built into the platform here under templates on the left hand side. There will be some suggested ones, ones that are specifically categorized into education and so forth. So go ahead and find a template that you are looking to work with. Now that we've selected a template, we can customize it. So to zoom in, you can either use the percentage tool to select your zoom percentage to get a closer look, or you can click the full screen option to go completely full screen to allow you to view your object that way, in this case, the infographic. So now that we have a closer look, we can see all of the different items that are built into the template we selected. You can either go ahead and delete all of this, or you can add to it using some of the other tools. Here on the left-hand toolbar, we have a bunch of options to select from under templates, which we've used already are templates specific to that material that you're trying to build out, in this case, infographic. Here we have uploads, where you can upload images, videos, and audio to be used on whatever you're working on. Canva has a built-in photo library, so you can search for mil through millions of photos, many of which are free, that you can incorporate into your project. To add any type of photo, you can simply search for it using keywords, and then simply drag it and drop it onto your canvas. Once you've added a photo, you can easily change the size of it by clicking and dragging those outside edges. Let's say that I want to crop this image. All I need to do is make sure the image is selected and then I can crop it from there using the tools provided. And then click done. There are other photo tools such as effects, which allow you to remove backgrounds and select different visual effects for your photo. We can add filters and adjust down to the finest details, including saturation and more. You can also flip your image horizontally and vertically, adjust the position in relation to the page and other objects. You can paste formatting by copying the formatting and pasting that style, adjusting transparency, linking, and locking items into place. There are other tools which apply to other objects as well, such as duplicate and delete. So now that we've looked at photos, the next object here is elements. Elements refers to kind of a, it's kind of a catch-all term. So we have lines, shapes, frames, stickers, charts, grids, gradients, and so much more. So most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look at how frames work. So a frame is a shape that you can drop an image onto, and then essentially it'll crop it to whatever the frame is. 
So let's take a look at an example of that. So all you need to do is click, drag and drop a photo on top of that frame for it to be essentially custom cropped to that frame shape. You'll notice here as I move this frame on my canvas that it is located behind some of the text objects. And for the sake of example, let's say I want it to be on top of the other objects. I can change that with the position of my object here. So with it selected, I'll click on position and then I will use the forward option to bring it in front of the other objects on the page. So those are some elements. Be sure to check out all the cool stickers and everything else that comes along with the elements options. Moving on to the next item in our toolbar for text, you can add different text headings, subheadings, and body text. There are also different themed text options for you to choose from as well. If you're working with video in Canva, you can add music into your designs. So all you have to do to add that music is simply click on it and it'll be added to your design. Next, we have videos. Again, if you're doing some type of video intro for a project you're creating, you can utilize some of these stock videos in that process. So same process includes just clicking, dragging, and dropping. You'll notice as I hover that video over the image I added, it'll just swap it out. So instead of having a static image, I can make something like this where the image itself is moving. I'll increase the transparency so you can see that. So if we play the video, it really brings this digital inf infographic to life. So be sure to check out the video section. Moving on to background, there are a lot of really cool backgrounds built in and of course you can search. You can also search by color if that's what you're into. So if you search for purple, you can find all of the purple backgrounds. And then click drag and drop to add to your design. And finally here we have folders. So this allows you to, if you have the pro features, to be able to organize your resources and different things that you've utilized in the past uh, into different folders. So that's a useful tool if you're working with Canva quite a bit. Finally, we have the more option down here. There's a lot of integrations that you can work with, but for the most part, you'll probably stick with these top options here when working with Canva. So have fun creating and customizing your Canva design, whether it be an infographic, poster, video, or so much more. Once you have determined that you are ready to bring your design out of Canva, you have a couple of options. You can either share it via a link. So if you click on the share button, you can copy a link and you can of course adjust so that people can either edit or just view, or in this case, watch. So if you copy that link, and share it, you'll be able to allow the viewer on the other end of who you're sharing it with be able to just take a look at the, in this case, our infographic online. If you want to print your design, you can print directly through Canva or you can download it and print it yourself by clicking this download icon. There are several options to choose from when exporting or downloading your infographic or Really, it depends on the type of design you're working with, but PNG and JPEGs are both image files. Then, of course, you have PDFs, and if your design contains a video, you can export a video with sound, or if you want a video that loops with no sound, you can export a GIF. So have fun exploring Canva. There's so much you can do with this platform, from videos to printed materials and full online digital materials as well. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out the other videos in our short series.